Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada. In this video, what we're going to see is how we can read real variables over communication, model TSP or model serial, using a M2XX controller. So once we read this information, we are able to see the real variable. Because when we use in communication, if we need to read uh, real or long real, what we have is to read two continuous um on the real we just need to read two continuous memory words okay when we read that on the controller we need to reorder that information probably we need to swap or not and then read the whole uh variable as a real so i'm going to show you how we can do this so let's go to the software so what I have here is the IM251 connected to IM262. The IM251 is going to be the server and the IM262 is going to be the master or client in the model TCP. So on the IM251, I have created this variable, R bar, who is going to be increased and is located to the percentage MD100. MD100 is going to be MW200 and to multiply it by two. So this is the logic that I have. No, this is not. This is the logic. So every second, this is going to add 1.1 to the variable here. So if we enable this, we should be able to see how it counts. Okay. To, to, to show in the data. Enable. And I believe I lost communication with the device. Just bear with me. Okay. Just be patient. Okay, so let's see what's going on. So I'm going to communicate to this one. Uh, no. I'm going to communicate once again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm back again with this device. And you can see that it's counting, which is fine. So now what I'm going to do with the M262 is to read this information. So I'm going to log out from this one. Skip it there. I'm going to go to this application. So over here, what I'm going to do is to add the model of TCP. Model TCP, I use corner just to make the things easier. I have this and going to add a generic device. It's going to be uh, my M251 model of TCP of device. The IP address of the M251 is one. Here I need to add the channel to communicate to this device. So it's going to be the real, the real variable. Uh, it's going to use read holding registers and it's going to start from the 200 because it's a MD100. I need to read two continuous uh, registers. So as soon as I got this, it should add a new tab over here, the real. And then I'm going to use, for example, um, uh, the real variable. Now that I got this, I should be able to read some information. Now, what I'm going to do is to add the library. Um, 
my library. That converts the two words using pointers to a real value. So I'm going to use these converters, this one. And there is an input in case you want to swap the information too. So what I'm going to do is to show you how we can use this variable, this function. So I'm going to create a new POU. Uh, CFC. Drag this here. I'm going to call this into program converters on this. I'm going to enable that true. And here I need to use a swap. So swap. Yes. And just to show you how it works. So initialization is going to be true just to show you that it doesn't show what I want. Okay. And here we just need to add the variable that we're going to use. So it's going to be real, real variable. And here we just need to add the ADR. So going to add this input here and select the variable that I need to. So I will config global, the real variable, the one that I have added. This came from here. Or we can use the percentage IW10. And to this variable, what we need to add is the pointer ADR. The address pointing to that. And then we need to call this into the must. And if I'm not wrong, that should be it. Just to read information that we want to. It's important to know that we have that function block that I have done. Um, you can create your own. Okay, there are different ways to do it. You can overwrite or assign the same address, the percentage NW internal in the controller, and then read the percentage MD for a real. That's another way to do it, but this one is just using pointers internally on the controller. Um, Let's have a look now. I should probably need to download this application now. Just wait for it. It's downloading. Uh, you can see, but it's downloading. So you can see I'm reading some information. So if we go here, you can see that I'm reading something weird because I have already selected a swap. So if I change this to swap this, maybe I use a wrong combination of keys. There we go. So I have this value then more close to what I'm looking for. So if we move this to this side and compare with the GBL, to be able to see that I'm reading the same information. Okay. Maybe not the same amount of time because due to some lags that I have, but you can see that I'm reading the same information over here. Okay. This is just one way using the library that I can share on the link. Uh, so this is how you can read real variables on slaves or servers on mobile TCP or mobile serial communication. Just read the two continuous registers and the ADR on the input. And then that should be it to get the real variable that you are after. So um, you will need the library. Okay. In case you want to use this function block. Otherwise you will need to use pointers, but I'm going to explain how to make the pointers. Um, so thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.